Hey guys, it's Cassie Raker, Cats and Camera, and today I thought I would do a little video about all the book series that I've started but haven't finished. Is this a good idea? Am I gonna out myself as a serial unfinisher? We shall see. So there are a few stipulations. For example, I'm not gonna be talking about comics and manga because there could be bajillions of volumes of them, so there's no point in going through all of them, and I've read the first volume of a lot of different things so it would make the video three four times as long so we're not going through that and also of course i'm going to just be talking about books that actually have the next book in the series that i haven't read out to read so there's no point in talking about song of ice and fire because the next book isn't out so we shall not and we won't be talking about things such as the gentleman's guide to vice and virtue because i'm pretty sure the Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy is more of a companion novel rather than a continuation of the series. Maybe I'm wrong because I haven't read it, but it doesn't count. Not for this video anyway. So yes, let's dive right in. And honestly, I don't think it's that bad. I thought it was going to be worse. It isn't, hopefully. You be the judge of this. So first up I have Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I read the first book of this this year, I do believe. I own several of the other ones including the next book so i should read it really everybody else read it about 10 years ago i'm a bit behind but i liked this one so i want to carry on next up i have the world of normal boys by km soeline i've read this a few years ago i think and i've owned the second in this duology robin and ruby for ages as well this is going to be a running theme owning the book but not reading it this is contemporary. I didn't say what Vampire Academy was about because you already know. Says it in the title really, doesn't it? Next up, I Am Number Four by Pitticus Law. I read, again, quite a while ago, and I own the next book and several more of the next books after that. Just haven't read it yet. Yep, sci-fi, aliens, all that jazz. Procession of the Dead by Darren Shan is a trilogy and I own both of the other books in that trilogy. The next one being Hell's Horizon and fun fact, I bought this series way before I started booktube, way before I knew anything about books. I've had it for a long ass time, five, six, who knows, that many years at least. And yeah, haven't read it have I? This is Darren Shan's first adult series which is why I put it off for so long. I mean, I only read this last year, I think, and I'd had it for like five years. It's just a bit scary, isn't it? Darren Shan's one of my favorite middle grade slash YA authors. So an adult series about crime, I was scared. I quite liked the first one. I should probably read the next and then the next. I should say that about every single book here. Okay, that was a lie. You can't say that about every single book here because the next one is Pretties by Scott Westerfeld. I read the first three actual series but I still have extras which I'm not 100% sure if it actually counts as part of the series or if it's an extra but we'll say it counts and it's here and Uglies was all right the first book in the series but Pretties and Specials was the same book and then extras over here doing something else I don't know I should read it I need to read it it's on my to read of 2019 so I will read it I'm probably be disappointed yay actually it won't be a disappointment will it because i already know it's not gonna be great so next up the trials of apollo i've read the first two books i don't own the third but it exists and i love rick riordan so i definitely want to read it just need to get it and then read it a little bit langston by andrew demkak is the first in a series and i own the second one alpha wave which was also on my tbr for last month and i didn't read it so probably should sci-fi aliens small published gay fun times the kiss of deception by mary e pearson i actually quite enjoyed this book and i own the next one well guess what i haven't read it this is kind of slightly because the third one is still quite expensive even second hand so i'm like what's the point carrying on when i'll want to read the next one after this and then i won't want to spend loads of money on it so you know excuses excuses fantasy dual perspective who's the evil guy who's the prince we'll not know but we kind of do know straight away because it's kind of obvious 
but it's still enjoyable. No, I Can't Even by Simon James Green, I read very recently, and to be fair, I only hold this last month, so it's not like it's been around for years and years and years like some of these other books, but I'll probably read this sooner than a lot of the other things on here that I've had on for ages because it's just easy and it? it's fun, it's contemporary, it's YA, it's gay. I will read it very soon. Empire Black and Gold by Adrian Tchaikovsky is the first in a 10 book series and to be fair I've read six of them so this is book seven and I should read this and I will because it's on my 2019 to read list so I will do it. Great series if you like big fat books, 10 series long, loads of fun stuff, people, powers, dying, all that good stuff. A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket is a series that I own almost all the books of. I found them all for 50p. I think I'm missing two random ones. And I've only read the first book, so I definitely need to read the second one. And then the rest, everyone read this as a kid. I did not. And last, but certainly not least, The Dark Artifices by Cassandra Clare. I don't own whatever it's called. I can't remember the third book in the series. Queen of Outer Darkness. Yes, I don't own that book. I'm waiting until it's super cheap. I bought this for a pound, okay? Brand new on Amazon, so I am waiting for that deal again for the third book. But hopefully it's great. I love Lady Midnight. Lord of Shadows, not so much. So hopefully it picks up again, but I don't know. I don't really hear many people talking about it anymore, so maybe it wasn't the best. Santa Claus never is the best, but hopefully it'll be good. So yes, there we go. Those were all the book series that I started and haven't finished with stipulations of the next book has to be out or not just a companion. I don't think it was that bad. It probably was. So let me know down below what book series you have started and haven't finished or if you've read any of these or if you've started them like me and haven't finished them. Let me know. If this is your first video by me, you enjoy it, and please check out some of my others. And if you continue to enjoy them, please subscribe. That'd be awesome. Anyway, guys, I will see you in a few days with another video. Bye.